I guess we have not yet acknowledged the fact that I fully live at home with my mom and dad. Don't forget to buy more Tide Pods. Getting to the floors. Very exciting piece of the puzzle. You can walk up and you're like, oh my God, for the first time ever, Morgan's house has a door. The buddy system. You could go all the way. <gasps> I know. Woo! The Irish butter. That's your phone. You have the black eyed peas as your alarm to wake up. Yeah. Okay. I love the part when you pour it into the pan because it looks like a little, a little cheeky soup. The secret to the fancy eggs, you have to stir them with a spoon. If you're using a spatula, you're doing it wrong. It has to be a spoon. And it has to be her favorite spoon. Yeah, oh my gosh, if this spoon I, is not clean, I will get outraged. I only use this spoon. I know that spoon is going to go missing when you move. And I only use this pan. And if this pan is dirty, I'm also gonna have a problem with that. Is Monday is grandma's wash day, and that means that we really need to pull it together by Monday because grandma is not comfortable doing laundry in a laundry room that's not perfectly clean. There can be no socks left, no loose change left behind, no nothing dryer on the dust, washer nothing dryer. on the washer and dryer. Grandma has to have a fully clean washer and dryer or she's not gonna be happy and she's gonna come to your room. I'm not stingy with the cheese either. I figured the bare minimum before I opened my mouth today, I could at least, I could at least do my makeup. I am moving so slow today because it is officially freezing outside. Fall has fallen. I subsequently <laughs> fall down not long after that. So we're gonna get ready at least. Okay, we're feeling significantly better now. Y'all know I have a horrid history of making a mess, so I've been trying lately to clean things up as I go. Where's the zipper? What I've been thinking about this morning, what is on my forefront of my brain. I feel like I just got settled here and I wouldn't say I'm all that settled. Like you can see my desk behind me. I sit in my bed and work all day long and then I wonder why my back is throbbing all the time and my spinal cord feels like it's going to snap in half. So I wouldn't say my setup is perfect, but you know, from the time of when I moved out of my apartment to here, I feel like I'm settled and situated and like comfortable now, you know? I am now comfy cozy living at home and what I have come to the realization of in my brain is I think that I like it living here with my parents and my grandma. I like it significantly more than living in a penthouse downtown alone by myself. And I know on paper, that sounds crazy, right? Because on paper, I was living the dream, right? Like I had this big, well, it wasn't big, it was 600 square feet, but I had this nice, beautiful apartment with a beautiful view and I could walk to everything and I had friends that I could walk to and you know, like there was always tea going on in the building and I love that. However, I have been doing a deep dive of like, okay, so when I actually move into this house, which has always just been a theory in my head that I never thought would come <laughs> to fruition, but now, you know, like there's walls and there's paint and there's gonna be floors next week. Like that's what they're starting next, the floors. It's all coming together <laughs> in one piece. And I think the more and more it comes together, the more terrified I am of, oh my gosh, this is a reality versus a theory in my head. I'm thinking of what do I actually want my life to look like when I move in to said house that is just a theory in my head or has been for the past ever. So I've done like a full history of places that I've lived in my head and like where I was the happiest and what situations made me the happiest. And here's what I've come to realize about myself. All of the times in my life that I've been severely, severely unwell is when I lived by myself. Like when I lived in my beautiful dream apartment by myself, I was kind of halfway miserable because I was sitting up there by myself all day, all the time through the deep cold winter. And looking back, I'm like, oh, isn't that funny? I don't regret 
it, I think it was a good chapter of my life. Was I thriving living by myself? Absolutely not. Then looking a little further back on my living history, which we all know that I've, I've moved a plethora of times. Like we have files to dig through where I can analyze each era of my life. Speaking of, my brother got me these Taylor Swift coasters. I'm using this one coming up for the main event, you know, but I have like all these little coasters cute speaking of airs anyway two times that i have felt just really like some sc screws were unplugged like things weren't plugged in right my brain a plus b was not equaling c when i lived in my townhouse by myself i was also very lonely very unwell very i don't want to leave my room in the day and no one can force me to do so and no one's gonna know if i leave my room or not so i'm just not going to no one's watching, no one knows what you're up to, no one cares what you're up to, so why does it matter what you're up to? It doesn't. And I think for me, specifically, personally, that just maybe isn't the way to go because when my life got significantly better and when I started making rational and good decisions, I was alone and I was miserable. Marcus and Vincent moved in, life was amazing, good, grand. I was alone in my apartment, I was miserable. I moved in with my parents, life is amazing, good, grand, right? Like I think maybe, I think, in my head that I am an introvert, but I also am starting to believe that maybe I'm wrong and that I like to be around people. And I just wanted to put it out there that because I was devastated, I was horrified, mortified, could not be more horrified, mortified that I had to move back in with my parents, right? Because I was like, everyone's going to think that I'm a raging a loser. Like I'm 26, moving back in with my parents. And I have to tell you, I like it here. <laughs> I like when I can walk downstairs and there's already goldfish in the pantry. I like having people around and I like having people to talk to. And so that has like, I don't know. I don't know. If someone thinks that you are not killing it because you're living with your parents, I would beg to differ because I feel like this is the first time I've been killing it in a long time because there's people around, there's life around, there's movement around, there's just like, It's just significantly better. And that, that brings me to my conclusion that I don't ever want to live alone again in my entire life. I've done it, I've mastered it, I can do it if I have to, but I don't think I want to, so I'm not going to. That's my thought process, is that I don't wanna live alone. My other thought process is, oh my God, I'm gonna have to move out of here again once I'm now situated here. My third takeaway of the week is that if you live with your parents, don't let anyone tell you that that's a bad thing because I think this is one of the greater things that has happened to me in the past year or so, right? I feel stable, I feel calm, I feel collected. I feel like I could walk downstairs, get a coffee and I made a whole ordeal a couple weeks ago about how all I ever wanted in life was a sidewalk and a front porch that you could actually walk on, that goes to a front door, that actually works, that you can use to walk in and then you're inside of your house, you know? I just want you to use your greatest imagination. If you had seen the front porch before, it didn't really exist. It kind of existed. It wanted to exist. The thought of it was there. Nice. Your temporary supports are Our gone. Toothpicks are going down. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. That took us 45 minutes. 45. And done. And not a second more. Nice. It's all done. <laughs> Make that 46 minutes. And the vision is, you go from the sidewalk. You take a whimsical step up the stairs. You frolic around the front porch. That is so nice. Two people can be happy and in love and so joyful to life walking down the sidewalk together. Sorry, mom. It's so well. pretty. I would say one day I'll be married at this house, but grandma would say that I'm too fussy. Why do you think that I'm not married? Huh? Why would you be married? Why do you think Morgan's not married? Because she's just too fussy. Hmm. 
Fussy. She's got to get to know somebody. Yeah. Before you decide you don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like for you people having me as a roommate? We love it. <laughs> All right. Let's just say I walked into the laundry room in the middle of the night last night. And guess what? There was towels in the room. And guess what there still thing. was when I left? Just now. Yes, your laundry in my washer. Don't forget to buy more Tide Pods. Other than that, you're doable. Dude, just leave me alone at night when I'm trying to go to bed. You keep running back in. Oh, and guess what else? And she jumps on the bed. And I'm like, uh, Morgan, <laughs> aren't you happy that someone has space, genuine interest space. in your life? Personal space, Morgan. Don't you wish a deer would just walk along there? I bet one will if we stand yeah, here for we'll long enough. Yeah, we'll be really quiet. <laughs> and we'll one pretend little... to be deer food. <laughs> she has a little deer friend that seems to be missing the other little deer I friend. do have a deer friend. Oh my gosh, and I felt so bad because this deer looks a little... It looks like he's been through a lot. I don't know. I honestly feel mm. like the deer is a burn victim or something. And I think the rest of his family left him alone out here. And he would lay right here on the dirt because I think it was cool oh, next to the cement on the house. And then they ripped up the cement and I was so sad. I actually shed a tear because I was thinking, oh my gosh, the deer is going to be so sad because he thinks we ripped up his bed and I haven't seen him since. Maybe he'll come back and just lay on the front porch. I hope so. Poor little deer. Boom. Front door. You can go inside to a house that has walls. That's what I am imagining for myself. That's all I wanted. And time goes by so fast that I didn't even realize that I... Just a visual of where we're at. We have Le Sidewalk. Transports you to Le Front Porch. Watch your step, especially if you're clumsy like me and you don't want to end up in the hospital. This is gonna give people motion sickness hi now you're on the front porch oh you can walk up and you're like oh my god for the first time ever morgan's house has a fucking door that you can open and you can walk into and you can see you can see what's inside did you see that the fact that there's something in the in the whole scheme of things that is functioning could it be my house oh my god you see What's her face? I don't know. Someone you don't want to see. Slender man's coming at you through the bush. Oh. Shut the damn thing. Oh. Oh. You can even... You can even lock it. <laughs> Would you look at that? As a now 26 year old, there is nothing I love more in life than having a nice place to sit. Why I will live in this house until the day I die because I sit here, right? And I'm like, oh my God, to some people, to most people, this just looks like a little slab of concrete, you know? But to me, I'm like, oh my God, I can sit somewhere. Me three years ago could have had the entire world handed to me on a platter and I wouldn't have even cared. And now I have a piece of concrete laying on the ground that's stable and sits and it's not crooked. And I'm like, this is the best day of my entire, like this is the best. This is the best thing to have a place to sit. The concrete, the idea of it is that there's no fruity tooty critters crawling around making creepy crawly homes down there. In theory, it will be here for the next half of forever. The painting is done. What is next on the agenda is the floors. Getting to the floors, very exciting piece of the puzzle. Walking surfaces, stable, straight, leveled, walking surfaces. I was going back and forth in my brain. Do I want the LVP? Do I want the engineered hardwood? The engineered hardwood was a little too expensive and I've already spent way too much money. Went back a step and I was like, okay, screw the engineered hardwood, even though that's kind of what I wanted. Screw it. Went with the LVP. We went, we picked out a color. I don't know anything about floor at all. There's the stuff you walk on in your house. Thanks. And you know you, what? You walk on it. Like, so it's the, you? you know, like this. You know? It's uh, tricky. Absolutely. But you it's tricky. It is I need something, I need something with no tripping hazard. But I also want to be able to walk around barefoot and not get a splinter. So are you the youngest? But it can't look no, bad. So you don't want raw wood flooring? That's so weird. Like... Yeah. <laughs> you don't get a splinter. <laughs> Let's just leave it concrete. I think we should take this one home. Get to the point where they could put in the floor. They had to pour this 
self-leveling concrete in the basement because like I said, everything was a little, a little topsy-turvy, teeter-tottery. I personally, I love a good floor. Have I ever said that before? No. Have I ever thought that before? No. But now at this phase of my life, the theme of the week is the floors. So we love the floors. And you know what does make me really sad? Is that every week someone new is here. You know, like last week all the painters were here. All these people come and they're so nice and kind. And like I just start to get way too in deep with these people. And then I learn all their life stories. And now I'm like, oh my God, where the f Where the f is Alonzo? And did he get to ride his horses this week? Did he get to see his daughter? Like, all these things that are running through my head. I'm like, I had all these storylines that I never got to finish. And I think that that's the worst part of the whole thing is that I get way too invested in all these people's lives. And then come Monday when new people show up and there's new people here and the people from last week aren't here anymore. I'm like, where the f did they go? That is what we are doing this week. Laura's. Yeah, it's exciting. I'll try to show you this one. If we put it, whoops. If we put it up against the white, super pretty, super pretty. I promise you that the floors are a whole lot prettier than the footstep dust that you see on them. We are back home, 7.49 p.m. Mom is chasing the dog around <laughs> to give him his specialty eardrops. I never eat dinner with my roommates. Because why do you guys have to insist on eating dinner at 4 p.m.? Bye. Grandma's hungry. Whenever I come to the sad realization that my roommates have eaten without me and I'm yet again just left with the lifelong decision of what am I going to feed myself today, Factor is going to come in handy and I go down to the basement, to the fridge. I want to know what food you're hiding. My secret stash. It's like going to a restaurant. What am I in the market for tonight? Cilantro jalapeno pork chop, mushroom marsala, garlic mushroom chicken. Menu item of the night has been chosen. Factor is here to make meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh and never frozen meals to your doorstep. What is the best part about this? You don't even have to cook them. They are ready to be heated up in two minutes. Ready? I'm not turning it on, Mom. I'm not. Mom thought I was gonna turn the microwave on with, oh, with the camera in it. You're ruining my creative on, vision, I Mom. Catching it on fire before. I wasn't gonna turn the microwave on with the camera in the microwave. Okay, Can, now I have to restart. <laughs> she got so mad. <laughs> then we're done. It just looks so so good. I don't even want to eat it, it looks so good. Ooh. It's very good, I like it. Roommate approved. The month that we are in, which is November, you can get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle of having to prep, cook, cut, measure, do all the shindig for all of your own food. You know why I hate doing that? Because every time I go to the store and get ingredients, because I think in my big brain that I'm gonna make something, everything goes bad and then I end up throwing everything away. All of the lettuce goes in the trash. All of these meals are prepared for you, which for someone like me who can't cook for crack shit nothing, I would say it's really a genius invention. Thank you to Factor for sponsoring this video. Use code MVLOGS50 for 50% off your first Factor box. Really, for someone like me, who just is a cat mom on the run. <laughs> my mom did not think that was <laughs> What? What? <laughs> A cat rock mom <laughs> on the run? Like, what are you doing, running from Cookie? Are you scared? This is the mm. shit that gets you through. Mm. This, not so much. This, A plus. I gotcha. I am a very hardworking, 
stay at home mother of a child. Of a child. I don't even know you. You invited us, so we jumped right in the car. I don't even match. I just thought, okay, we gotta go. There's Granny Pop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's wow. gonna say something about the footprints. Yeah, well, that's because wow. that She's gonna say, no, oh, I, I told you not to get the dark floor. You're gonna have dust everywhere. <laughs> it's not gonna be long, huh? I don't think so. You have perfectly good sit test on my brand new floor. And how I feel the floor? I want to be the floor. How is it? Um, it's pretty nice. I would say it's not too hot, not too cold. It's, it's, it's a little dusty. Yeah, it's getting ready for tile. Oh, it is. How are you getting over this? This, right up here. See, this is how you can tell what every room's gonna look like. You pan your eyes to these, and it'll look exactly like that. Like this? Yep. Oh, okay. Checker floor. Checker what, floor. Okay. What do you think? That'll be good. You just love it here, huh? Yeah, I do. What about you? I do. I think it's so nice. <laughs> I'm still inquiring for a roommate. That would be great. What would? Yeah, look just look here. You think so? Yeah, I do. I think so. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Leaves are all changing. I know, the year goes by fast, huh? Yeah. I know, I know. In the back of my brain, I'm guilty for saying this about every single stage and every single video, but I think, I think the tile might be the most anticipated part of this whole thing for me personally. Why? Because I've spent the past two years of my life picking out tile, changing my mind a hundred times. I have gone through so many different tiles that I think I've seen every tile that has ever entered the stratosphere on earth. I've seen so many tiles. Yeah, the cool girl. That's pretty good. Do like a clean girl. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now like a like an emo girl. I'll kill you type of girl. Like a <laughs> that. Yeah, that's for sure it. I don't know what other types of girls there are. <laughs> you look like your mom. <laughs> I gotta tell you, the thing about the checkered floor, the giant chessboard, we could live, eat, breathe human chess in here. It has been on the list of things that I wanted since before this house was even purchased three years ago. So to see it with my own two eyes, I don't think I'm like emotionally well off enough to fully process that, but but 
the checkered floor be checkering. Okay, the, the checkered floor be really checkering. While we are still in a bare bone state, I thought that I could show you all of the tiles that I picked out with the help and guidance and emotional support of Maddie. So, a little Costco sample platter of what's to come. Kitchen, range hood and the back wall. They look kind of gray, but I swear in person they're more tan. I think next to my god awful spray tan, they just look a little gray, but in person they are pretty, pretty tan beige-ish. Okay, you know what? People think that I don't take your questions, comments, and concern into consideration. When I started this, there were so many comments that were like, great, another dumb bitch building a black and white flat YouTuber house. And I was like, okay, well, there goes my first plan now that everyone has put into my head that that's the bad thing to do. Do I think that's the bad thing to do? No, but it made me think outside of the box a little bit. And you can see, I'm just, I'm so bold and courageous with my fucking white tile, you know? Still haven't decided if I wanna go horizontal or vertical. I don't know yet. Work in progress, let me find the other ones. Everything is scattered a little bit of everywhere. We'll go on a little scavenger hunt. This, ooh, this is a shower floor for the green bathroom. I'm calling it the green bathroom. Creative name, I know. Please ignore my miraculously clean barn that contains everything from my life's past. Found some more. If we're all doing this together, if we the people are a union, whatever the fucking song is, we the people in order to form a more perfect union, you know, if we're establishing justice, ensuring domestic tranquility, you know, you know what I'm talking about? I don't think that that has any relation to anything we're talking about at all, and no, it does not have any correlation to the tile, but I was trying to think outside of the box, okay? The people themselves pushed me to think outside of the box, and I was like, I really wanna have a green bathroom. Why? Backstory of why I wanted a green bathroom. My friend Brooke and I, same Brooke that we went on the road trip to Mojave with and met Cowboy Dave and the horse Burrito and I ran into the tree on Burrito the horse and then Cowboy Dave asked us to marry him and it was a whole shebang, there was no phone service. That's Brooke. So Brooke and I went to this like bougie Anna Delvey style hotel in Chicago. And we stayed in this really nice room, okay? And it had these huge bathrooms and they had wood floor, green tile shower, and like marble everywhere. I was like, if I ever build a house, I'm gonna build myself a damn green bathroom. I love the green bathroom. I want a green bathroom for when I'm feeling down on my luck and I walk into the bathroom, I'm like, the, the luck of the Irish, it's right here. So this is the Chloe tile from Bed Rosians, super duper popular apparently. And then this is from a random website online. I think it's called Stone Collection or something. I don't know, random website, so random. Floor, walls. I go to my little in-person board of people. I'm like, I'm building a green bathroom. All the men are like, please, for the love of God, don't do that, no. And all the women are like, woo, green bathroom, why not, woo. -hoo. Save the environment, go green, you know? So the women are for the green bathroom, the men are not. Are we gonna change their minds? I don't know, do we care if we change their minds? No. We're going for the green bathroom, love. Um, as someone who has never had walls or doors or anything that locks, I would say November is doing pretty good for me, okay? Just something that I'd like to add this morning the amount of messages that I got regarding the Starbucks didn't include the Irish cream cold brew this year. The amount of messages that I got from you all consoling me and making sure I'm okay. No, I'm not, but you're very sweet. So thank you. Okay, bye everyone. Been real. Uh, you're leaving? <laughs> I mean, you're staying here. <laughs> <laughs> We're leaving. <laughs> you says goodbye. <laughs>